welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on dutch braids the second video that i actually currently have uploaded on my channel is a french braid tutorial and i mentioned in that video that if you guys want to see dutch braids that i can also give you guys a tutorial on that as well and i got lots of positive comments saying that i helped you guys out and that you guys said that you really liked the way that I explained it and it really helped you understand and learn how to do it on yourself. So I'm really glad for that, but I was also super like awkward in that video. So I really hope that like a couple years later that I'm able to explain things a little bit better so I can help you guys learn how to do Dutch braids on your own hair. Now everybody has different hair types and lengths, so um, I straightened my hair for today's video just like last time and my hair is quite long. Um, so if you do have like thicker hair or curly hair, I would recommend going to a different tutorial to try and figure out how to do it on your hair type. But for me, it is just long straight hair. Now if you do not know the difference between French and Dutch braids, I'll put a picture of French braids right here and it's kind of like sewn into each other. So it like lays flat on the head and here's a picture of Dutch braids where it kind of like pops off of the head and like sits on the scalp kind of like looks 3d-ish if you know what i mean now i will say dutch braids will be much easier to master if you already know how to french braid because it's kind of just inversing the steps of the french braid so if you do not know how to french braid i would definitely recommend learning that first i will leave my tutorial down in the description below and you can go watch that you don't have to know how to french braid in order to do dutch braids it'll just like make it a lot easier so to start off i'm going to be parting my hair down in the middle and going all the way back to the back of my head try to perfect the line obviously to however straight you can get it um i can never get mine exactly perfect but i try my best and this is what i've come up with something that i love to do is tie off the other side of hair so when you're grabbing pieces it doesn't like come over and just like mess up the part and get mixed in so, um, for example, if I'm starting with this side first, I'd like to tie off this side. Now, just like for my French braids, I like to always start off on the left side of my head first. Now, that is just because I am right-handed, so my right hand is, like, doing all the work on this side rather than over here where it's, like, awkward to grab certain pieces because I'm not left-handed. Um, so depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed, that will depend on which side you probably would want to start off first because it might be easier to do. Any tutorial that I've watched on YouTube of how to do like French or Dutch braids, I've never seen anybody do this, but I like need to do it because it just helps me out so much. Like I literally probably couldn't braid my hair without doing it. Um, is combing your hair backwards because if you like try and grab pieces like this, like and put it back, like this side is like flat if you know what I mean. So if you comb your hair backwards, it'll really help you see where the hair is gonna lay and it'll be easier to grab pieces and braid if you know where like the hair is gonna lay so i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what i'm doing if you wanted to start at the very beginning of your hairline you want to take a very small piece like that and you'll have to work your way back and that takes a lot more time for me i like to start mine like a little bit back here so taking a piece about this big starts it right about there. You're just going to divide that one piece of hair into three different pieces. And for French braids, what you would normally do is take the left side in between the middle and the right, but you're gonna go under instead of going over. So you just take the left piece and put it in between the middle, and then you have a new middle between the piece that you just crossed over and the part that was the middle. So you take then the right side and put it underneath that and then you have your three new strands. So that's why I mentioned how it would be easier to do Dutch braids if you already know how to do French braids because it's just instead of going over it's going under. And now is when you incorporate new pieces so you just want to add a piece to the left and the right side. You don't add anything to the middle piece. So the middle piece will be a little bit skinnier than the two outside pieces, but you just want to go under in the middle and then under in the middle again. And I like to make my braids very tight, so I do pull it in between each stitch, but depending on how tight you want your braids will be how tight you pull it. Um, so just add pieces to both of the sides. And now you have your three new pieces, so you want to go under... And then you have your two new pieces and under that 
again and then pulling it tightly I feel like the reason why this is so hard for some people is because everybody holds things differently and it is um, a little bit complicated to figure out like where you put your hands and how you hold certain strands and then just bringing it to the front and doing the same thing so putting it in the middle of those two and then with your new middle over here put this piece there I really hope I'm explaining this in like a good way because everybody interprets things differently. This video might help somebody learn how to Dutch braid, but it also might um, really confuse people. So um, I really hope this can help. Um, when you get done here, it is a bit harder to braid because the pieces get smaller and shorter. Um, but I just try my best to braid down to the smallest I can get and I like to tie it off with a clear elastic and that is the finished braid for this side and I have that much left so again combing the hair back so it's just a little bit easier to see where the hairs will lay and taking a section that was equally as big as this side because you don't want one braid that like starts up here and one that starts back here um, so you want to line it up and that's about how big I made the last first piece. So again, taking your three strands, making them obviously equally as thick as each other and going under and then under again. You can watch back certain parts until you get it down before moving on to incorporating pieces, but right about now would be when you would take in parts only to the left and the right side do not touch the middle piece and then you're gonna go under again and then under in between the new middle and then incorporating a piece again So I'm going to explain it one more time and then I'm going to speed through a little bit. So just keep re-watching parts until you get it. But you have your three pieces and you take the left side and put it in the middle of these two going underneath instead of over. So you're going to go under taking that piece in between here. And then you'll have a new middle and you're going to put this piece over here under in between the new middle that you just made when you crossed over the left piece. So there you have your new three parts and you're going to incorporate your pieces now. Also guys, remember that practice makes perfect. It obviously took me lots of tries to get this down. It is not easy. Um, so do not get upset if you do not learn it in the first couple of tries. It literally took me years to even understand how braids worked. And obviously with time, your hands will just kind of adjust to like the movements and just like have muscle memory and know what to do. And then when you get down to the end here, even if you can braid more, you want to make sure that it's even with the other side because sometimes you can braid it longer. Um, but these are about even right there. So I'm going to tie it off with an elastic. So these are the finished braids. I do like to pull out hair um, from the sides just so my hair isn't so like pulled back and it doesn't look like I'm like bald. And you can also loosen the braids if you want like bigger puffier braids. But that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know. Um, and also comment down below if this helped you or not. I really hope it does. Just keep rewatching it until you get it. 
because I promise if you practice enough, you will eventually learn it. And also, it might just come easier for some people. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to turn on all of my post notifications while you're at it so you get a notification in your box every time I upload a video. And yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much, and bye guys. Thank you.